Tonight on the edge, no mosque to be built in Sterling Heights. It's been a point of contention in that city for a while now. Fox 2's Randy Wimley live now with reaction. Randy. Yeah, here place was a tinderbox. It was so packed inside City Hall that the senior center across the street had to be used as an overflow viewing area for the Planning Commission meeting. Outside, hundreds of people, many if not all of them, against the mosque development were waiting for that decision to come down. Also outside, several police officers were on hand just in case things got out of hand. <laughs> The crowd outside of Sterling Heights City Hall erupted after hearing the Planning Commission rejected a proposed mosque on 15 Mile Road between Hatherley Place and Davison Drive, ending for now a hot button issue that stoked fears of plummeting property values, traffic congestion, and sentiments of Islamophobia. Is the opposition to this mosque more about logistics and traffic or about people not wanting Muslims around? I think it's more about ignorance, honesty, to be be honest with you. I live right in the vicinity where they want to build the mosque. It is a very, very busy. Sterling Heights City Planner Don Mindy urged the commission to scrap the plan, saying the proposed building would be too big for the land it would occupy and the neighborhood surrounding it. He also told the panel there would not be enough off-street parking. Mosque developer Jafar Shahab was livid. We are within the rules that you have set forward. The playbook that you have provided us. We have done everything that you have asked us to do. Just for you to deny us and say we're not conforming and we're out of line with all the surrounding property is absurd. The proposed mosque would have been near the heart of Sterling Heights Chaldean community. And for many, that touched a nerve. Iraqi Christians are being persecuted, even killed by radical Muslims. But I'm no, 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 exactly. No. Chaldeans at the meeting chose not to comment on the commission's decision, but other Sterling Heights residents like Don Lobsinger known for inflammatory rhetoric sounded off. This is a Christian community. They build their mosque in a Muslim community. They don't need to build a mosque in a Christian community. It's subversive. It's meant to create division. It's meant to create strife. That's what it's all about. Some Muslims were booed as they left the Planning Commission meeting, deflated and convinced they got a raw deal. Honestly, I, I think that there's ulterior motives behind this. This is this is absurd. You know, this is absurdity. Where do you guys go from here? We're not going to stop right here. I know we're not going to stop right here. Now, the mosque developer, who is also the director of the American Islamic Community Center in Madison Heights, he bolted out of here before we could get a hold of him. But the director of the local care chapter, the Council of American Islamic Relations, says he will reach out to the Department of Justice about tonight's decision. So even though the Planning Commission voted down this mosque development, it's doubtful that this will be the last time we hear about it. Hugh. Randy, a big crowd, a lot of motion. Did things get out of hand at one point? Uh, you know, to a certain extent they did. You saw in the video how they were booing uh, many of the folks outside. Some of them, rather, were booing Muslims as they came out of the city uh, hall, out of the Planning Commission meeting tonight. But a bit earlier, an imam from Dearborn Heights, during our interview with him, things got a bit out of hand, and in fact, he had to be escorted up to the, uh, the, the top steps over here going into the city hall just because the crowd got very, very excited. But when I spoke with uh, one gentleman who was also against this mosque development, he says that is not reflective of all of those who are not for, were not for, this mosque being built in somewhat just a, a small example, a small reflection of the sentiments here. But as you say, Randy, this issue is over. More to come.